Margaret, thank you. Um, and uh, Nathan, thank you for uh, representing the, uh, the organization and all the athletes and, and the community uh, in a great way. I uh, look forward, hopefully, to celebrating a national championship football season with you over at Texas A&M. So. <laughs> Or whatever. I know that you will have a wonderful time. So uh, it, it, we're we're uh, blessed in this state to have uh, uh, young men and women uh, like Nathan and and these uh, incredibly just joyous faces that uh, uh, you see here in front of us and behind me today. And uh, uh, but to Margaret again, I want to say thank you for everything that you do to uh, support uh, Special Olympics uh, in Texas and. Today's, uh, today is a special day. It always is a special day uh, here on the south steps of the Capitol when we have this event, opportunity to raise awareness to, uh, uh, and I might add, a, a, few, uh, a few dollars as well as we raise funds uh, for this worthy cause. And going back to 1981, uh, the law enforcement torch run has raised hundreds of millions of dollars for uh, this organization worldwide. And there's been hundreds of thousands of volunteers in, in uh, uh, I think 48 different countries. I mean, you think about the, the global uh, impact that, that you all are having. It's, it's, uh, it's really phenomenal. Uh, but right here in Texas, our law enforcement community has made this event uh, a priority for nearly two decades. Uh, and it, it, this brings together small town sheriffs, and big, big city sheriffs, and, and um, correction facility officers from across the, uh, the state. I mean, it's just a fascinating group of, of Texans that come together. One thing they all have in common is that they, uh, the work they do is really stressful. They have demanding jobs. The amount of time that they have to dedicate to outside opportunities, outside efforts. Considering the personal responsibilities that they have in their life, it, it, it makes this even a bigger deal for me because I know that they're sacrificing. Not only do they put their lives on the line for us, but then they take and give one of the most precious things that they have, which is their time, to us. It says a lot about the quality of the men and women that they volunteer so much of their time for an organization like Special Olympics. And it also says a lot about who you are and about the cause itself. There's something particularly inspiring about Special Olympics. There is something really amazing about men like Nathan. When it comes down to it, the Special Olympics is about what is exceptional in all of us. It's about working to do your best, to strive for excellence, whatever and wherever you are, whoever you are. It's about getting involved. It's about staying active. It's about enjoying the thrill of competition with friends and family. So I want to just congratulate Special Olympics. Special Olympians in particular, as well as these law enforcement men and women who are here today for their participation in this year's run. And you all, you all represent the very best of the greatest state in the nation. So thank you for what you do and God bless you. <laughs>